Cake yeah. Cakes. Yeah. Welcome the founder of Daisy Cakes, Kim Nelson. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So excited to have you here. Thanks. Daisy Cakes Bakes, that's fun to say. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Why do you get to eat it? <laughs> I don't know, yes, it's better. fun to eat. So your life really did changed overnight when you went on Shark Tank. Yes. Shark Tank. I can't speak well, today. Go back with to your, Daisy Bakes. Right, Daisy Bakes, 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 Bakes Cakes. You went on Shark Tank with mm -hmm. your Daisy Bakes Cakes, mm -hmm. and the sharks love them. And then Barbara Corcoran, Made, like gave you the deal of a lifetime. She really did. She invested in my company, and um, it's been like you know working with your favorite teacher, right? Because mm. you just want to please her and make her happy. But you know, every now and then you have to get your hands slapped. But she is she's a wonderful business partner, wonderful mentor for me. And the crazy thing about Shark Tank was we went from selling two thousand cakes in a year to two thousand cakes in twenty four hours when oh the show gosh. aired. Oh my gosh! Wow. And it was it was insane. Like the website wow. crashed. The phone lines blew up, wow. and it was just mayhem. I mean, you're happy. You want people to get the cakes, and you yeah. want them yeah. to enjoy them and have them. But it's like, how are we ever going to get all these oh cakes God. made? So it Did was. You have to call everybody over to your house. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, and we were shipping off mom and daddy's carport. It was yeah. just yeah. insane. Oh, no. it was and, your, and your mom was making the cakes with you, and your yeah. mom still makes the cakes to this oh. day. She's at home right now making 40 pound cakes. This is oh. a true story. That, yeah, right now. Oh, true story. And she's 84 years old. Oh. Oh, yeah, and, and she, can, best she can run that. circles around a 35-year-old. So. I bet she could. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, I will say that Barbara still to this day says that was the, one of the best deals she has ever done. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, she oh, loves wow. me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And she loves your cakes, too. Yeah, she I does. Mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, if your cakes weren't great, she wouldn't love you as much as she does. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's for sure. But where can we get your cakes? Um, they're available online on my website. It's ilovedaisycakes.com, and we ship cute. nationwide. And just, or Daisy you can go to your cakes. local carport. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or call your mom. <laughs> All right, so this delicious rum cake is not one that you had on Shark Tank, no. but it should have been because it is wow. really good. So we start with our raisins yeah. that have been... Um, just doused in rum. Well, they've been soaking every night. And okay. one thing you want to be sure to do, Debbie, is read the recipe from start to finish. Okay. Because you have to soak these every night. So if you just go in to start baking it, you're going to go, oh, I forgot to soak those overnight. Okay. Is so, it warm? Is the liquid uh, warm or um, no? Does no, you want to set them at room temperature. Room great, temperature. great, okay. uh, great uh, idea, Ken. So you want to make sure they're at room temperature. Okay. Oh, uh, soaking overnight. And we're going to toss them in the flour. Now, could okay. you stop there? And just, <laughs> and just eat those probably. Yes, you probably could. That would be delicious. So you're just going to give them a toss. This way, it keeps your raisins from going to the bottom of your cake. So they'll be all oh, nicely. Okay. As, see, as you're eating that, they'll so all. If you coat them, it keeps coat them from, yeah, oh, from sinking. So you won't have, a, oh. you know, just a big old heavy raisin line in the bottom. Okay. So you're going to give those a quick toss in a bigger bowl, you know, if you're really doing that at your house. All right. Mm. Eat one. <laughs> so in, right. in here is your, your shortening, your butter, and your sugar that you've already creamed. Okay. So get that wide open. Yes. Okay. And unlike the professional <laughs> chef Stone, I dump them all in there at one time. Okay. okay. So not all. Yeah. Not one I got to get this show on the road. Right? <laughs> <laughs> when you're trying to make twenty thousand cakes in twenty four hours. Okay. Wow. So we get that going. All right, you get that going. I'm, I'm really big on you doing the scrape down and around thing. Okay. Right? You want me to do a lot? Well, going? no, no, no. Okay. Just make you'll sure. mess up your beautiful dress. All right. We get that scrape down and around. Scrape down and around. Then we add the milk. Um, no, now we're going to add our dry ingredients. Okay. Tell me to pop this. Yeah, up. let's give it. Let's give it one more little whirl. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. let's Just go. so it's all nicely blended. There you go. Of course, there if you're you doing go. this at home, you'll do it for a little bit longer. Okay. That'll be okay. Put your flour okay. in. Yep. So you don't add this in increments either. Oh, just all together. You know what? I do that, and then I'm going to dump in the milk. So why okay. the milk not with the wet ingredients? Um. The. What? Oh, you mean the milk in with your butter and sugar? And yeah, you, so you do the, oh, no. the buttermilk, then the flour, yes. then, the, then the milk. Yeah. Okay. Yes, always. Well, and that's how I do it at work. Okay, all right. Butter, yeah. sugar, eggs, oh. dry ingredients, and then liquid ingredients. In the milk. Oh, mm -hmm. and that's not yeah, a good trick. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's a trick. It was, she doesn't think we can see it when she does that. Oh, God. We can see it, Debbie. I was just it. doing that so we didn't I, make a huge mess. I think oh, it would be better if you started the, it, the mixer on low speed. Yeah, and well. And very gently and carefully incorporate the, the dry. There you go. And then you, you don't, yeah. She does the same a, thing. You need an apprentice. Does the same thing. It's going to taste okay. the same. And then you, this is when you're. You put this in. I, I would do this on low. Or we're going right. to have raisins. Oh, we're actually going to mix Ooh. this as well. Yes, yeah, so these will go in now into okay. that. Just And. With this, just give it a quick little blend on low. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> on low. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be clear. Damn on low. low. On low. Raisins on low. everywhere. We can't go any lower than this. Stop. And now maybe just kick it up a notch. Cool. And that's it. 
Okay. <laughs> it almost looks like chocolate chips. It's like, yeah, like really. Like and, said, and, and you know what? It's thick like that too. Yeah, that is going to oh, be really thick. So oh. like cookie dough. Look at that. I just want to eat it like. Oh my that. gosh! Look at that falling off. And where's our spatula? That's beautiful. There's one right spatula. behind us. Don't you worry. Uh, <laughs> so if you didn't right put the raisins and the rum to, mm -hmm. in there, could you do like a chocolate chip? Yeah. And do it in the same way, like mix it with the flour. Yes, and a handful of uh, pecans. Okay. Oh. Or we were talking earlier, maybe even some chocolate covered raisins or yogurt covered oh. raisins. Oh, yeah. Be really good. There you go. Okay. So now you've coated the, the yes. bottom of the bun pan. Grease and flour your pan. Okay, so it doesn't yeah. stick. Mm -hmm. do it no no time. shortcuts every time. Wow, this is a heavy bowl. That is heavy. <laughs> And then, well, the, you know, the batter's heavy, too. Your yeah. mom does this? Yeah. Uh -huh. In four years yes. You should see her, her forearms. It's She's a tiny little lady lightning speed. So Aww. she runs circles around us. I'm now, you're, this is actually a family recipe that, this, that you have brought through the years, and you still spend the same amount of time making it as your great-grandmother or your My grandmother? mother's grandmother. So it would be my great-grandmother. Great grandmother And Aww. you know what? She would sit at a wood stove. That'll do for now. Oh, okay. She would sit at a wood stove oh, and regulate the temperature. Oh, so wow. you're sitting there for two and a half hours. <laughs> two and a half hours yes. at a and wood stove. And have to keep monitoring the heat. Yes, to regulate it. Oh my it. gosh. Pop it so in now we pop it in at, again, two and a half hours. That's don't two we? logs. If one log burns down, throw in another, <laughs> another one. one. Yeah. yeah. So is that two wow. at 250 two degrees, degrees, degrees for two and a half hours? So, wow. And now we get to do the fun wow. part. We're going to put holes all in. So then we can pour oh. in that oh. beautiful That's how rum you get it in. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So lots and lots of holes everywhere. So while I'll do this, I'll have you move over to the beautiful rum sauce and tell us what's in there. This is your leftover rum from where you soaked your raisins overnight and some butter and some brown sugar. Everything's better with butter and brown sugar. Uh -huh. I know. Isn't it and really? Rum. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. And this. Oh my gosh. And you want to make sure you oh. pour this on a plate, a platter that has, you know, some a depth lip on to it, it, a lip yeah. on it, so that it won't go all. Yeah, because you don't want to waste any of that sauce. You want it to soak all it's the way beautiful. in. It's beautiful. It's just so good. And then you want to sop it up. And oh. sop it up. Sop That's it up. right. Yeah. And let it sit because you know this is going to soak in nicely. And you know what it's really good with? What? Anything. Liver, <laughs> liver and onion. <laughs> <laughs> this would be good with a tennis shoe. Oh, don't you bother me. That's no Oh, my problem. gosh. Mark, could you make this for Mark's mom? Oh. Ellen, yeah. take this one to her. It freezes beautifully. Uh -huh. Does it? Oh. I know a thing or two about Do you freeze it after the, so after the sauce or but before? But you know what? You might want to freeze it. Um, and then when you bring it out to serve, then, it, then like pour that, pour that. Yeah. Okay, okay yeah. there you, you guys go. Oh, Kim, you got to get in. Full oh. recipes available by dropping by Hallmark.com. Oh.